well, here we are. Um, November 26th, third day in New Hampshire. Um, got some snow yesterday, some rain yesterday. And a little bit of snow last night. I'm guessing it ended somewhere around 1 or 2 o'clock. Um, but the wind's supposed to blow like crazy today. So it froze things up last night. It was, I don't know, 23, 24 degrees. So it's a little crunchy, but not bad. Up high where there was some snow. But. So, things happen quick. You never know what you're gonna find. So that smasher of a deer track that was a little older is now quite a lot fresher. Was probably 160 pounds and this buck phew, I don't even know he's over two no question but hopefully this wind saves us today here we go well he went right to the top of the mountain and right back down the other side and right back across the road um, that I came in on but it was it's a water bar on it, it's an old winter road. And I cut a buck track going back up that was a little bit fresher, but I don't think it's him. I looked at it real close and the steer's dew claws are really sinking and that other one wasn't sinking so much. So anyway, we're back on the right side of the road and down off the mountain, but who knows? Who knows? We're just gonna keep hammering. We've been, oh, I don't know. I haven't checked, but I'm guessing in the neighborhood of two miles so far and hasn't freshened up at all. So I'm hammering along until something looks fresh. Bed number one. Boy, I'm really hoping he didn't get up and walk right back up onto the mountain, but he's walking out of there, so it's definitely a little fresher. Bed's froze, but that's a big deer. Big deer. Easily as long as my rifle or longer. <clears throat> well, sure shit, that buck that I thought was a little smaller turned out to be him. We just came from over there. This road circles, goes around the base of that ridge. I don't know, about a mile that way. Came right up over the top, right down through that gut right down through this skid trail. And he went down across the road, screwed around with some does. And then he turned and came right back up. So I'm gonna beat feet back up to where I cut his track. Cause that deer, the other buck was feeding pretty good. So, <clears throat> and he did feed some on the low side of the road when he came out, that first bed. So I'm gonna hammer back up there, get back on him. He's headed back up another mountain. I'm hoping he's not going way up there, but we'll see. Well, he just worked his way up through that stuff. And that's bed number two. It's froze up, but... pretty chilly so could have rose up quick so now we're in creep mode and this is about the worst place he's gonna be above us in this thick in here so you never know least we can do is fresh him up maybe get a look at him well it's just after 10 o'clock <clears throat> I just bumped him out of his third bed I don't know how well you can see it but that deer can see me for a long way he's coming He's doing what they normally do. They don't lay right on the lip of a shelf. They'll lay back just so they can see down over. And uh, here's where he came out. And that's his bed. He's a big dude. You can see where he fed right up by. <clears throat> Swung back around and came right out and laid down. 
So, guess it's time for a sandwich. <laughs> at least he's not bounded out of it. He's just trotting out. So, we'll give him some time and get back after it. It's still early. slows down right here and we can go into creep mode and maybe get a whack at him. He's right here somewhere. Well, best case scenario. <clears throat> this buck got went to the top of the mountain. Didn't like it. Must have smelled something. <clears throat> Ran back down the other side. And then up on top of another knob. And <clears throat> he picked up a doe. And he's right now in the process of chasing her all over hell. So with any luck, he's preoccupied, forgot about me, and I can catch him dogging her somewhere and put a bullet in. Well, I don't know what happened. I shouldn't have been anywhere near him, but <clears throat> somehow I made up a bunch of time on him and Either he chased those doe, it ended up being two does. Either he chased those does around and got his blood up, or somehow I jumped him. I don't, he should have been an hour behind him. I don't understand, but it doesn't really matter. Now he's on a mission. He's been running for the last, I don't know, half three quarters of a mile. So, sticking with it, see what happens. Well, somehow I caught up to him and I don't know what he was doing. He slapped across the hill. I don't know how he caught up so fast, but there's bed number four. And I just watched him run out of it. I didn't get a look at his head, but this is a big deer. And had I had the opportunity, keep doing that. We'd have put a bullet into him. So close, so close. It's now, I don't know. 20 after 1. So I jumped in the first time about quarter after 10. I'm going to have to pick up the pace a little, I think. But what can you do? Stick after him. Hope he makes a mistake. That one was real close. If he'd given me one more step, I probably had a shot at him. I just jumped that buck. I gave him 10 15 minutes. You can see he went down through and he caught that limb on his horns, dragged it. You can see he just rubbed it when he went through this hole here. Well, that's bed number five. He didn't screw around. He walked right to this bed and he laid right down. I don't know, it's probably 10 after 2, 2.15. I got about another hour. Now I gotta start making tracks. Back to the truck, because I'm a long ways from it, and I'll blow myself. But one of these times, may not be today, but he's gonna screw up. I can tell you right now that that is the sweetest sight at the end of the day. Whew, I don't know how far I've been. I left the truck at 7.30 and it is 4.30 now. We are just getting back. I'll update you in a minute, couple minutes. I get myself undressed and get some water. Well, now we're gonna find out how far we went. Curb track, view map. 9.5 miles. We started out at 18 point or 8.5 and we're at 18 even now so why do we do this I couldn't tell you oh no idea just for a good one just for a good time 
So, anyway, that's a day in the life of a tracker. Win some, lose some. Got closer than I have all season, and it's the 22nd day, and I think day number 11 or 12 on snow, so that's a good sign. They're slowing down a little bit because I was, I think I was, jumped in the first time at 2.4 miles. So, anyway, now it's 4.30 something and get an hour and a half ride home. See you next time. Probably tomorrow.